Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to go over another quick stutter fix for Microsoft Flight Simulator. In the past, I have done several videos explaining the importance of clearing out all of your shader cache for Microsoft Flight Simulator, as well as your NVIDIA driver. Now, to do this process required several different avenues to delete everything, and it became quite labor intensive. Now, there's an easier way. Over on flightsim.to, the developer Mattis, I hope I pronounced that right, has created a batch file to clear all of your shader cache for your NVIDIA driver, as well as Microsoft Flight Simulator. This program now works on both Microsoft Store and Steam version. They have posted some instructions here on the main page. I will post links down below for this. However, we're gonna run through the process together. First, wanna to download the batch file or the application. Once you have done that, then you want to go and unzip that file. I have already done that and renamed the folder cache delete and place it on my desktop so I can easily get to it whenever I need to. We're going to open the folder. And within this folder, we have three different files. So at the very bottom, we have the instructions. If you click on that, this will give us some clear instructions as to how to use the files. In the instruction, it clearly states it's very important that we run either of these batch files as administrator. Before we run any of these batch files on my system, I want to check and see exactly what they're going to be doing. So I'm just going to hover over and right click, and then I'm going to open with Notepad. All right, so let's take a look at the batch file that we're going to be running today. The version of this is 1.3. The first thing that it's going to go through and clear out is the NVIDIA DX cache. This is located in two separate folders on your system. Once it finishes your DX cache folder, it moves on to the temporary cache folder on your system and clears that. Once it gets done that, it's gonna go through your Microsoft Flight Simulator cache and delete that. It will then head to the NVIDIA GL cache folder, delete that, and then it will go to the final DX cache folder in the NVIDIA driver. Once it finishes that, it looks like it's going to run through the NVIDIA GL cache one more time and delete anything in there. Now let's go ahead and run that batch file. To do that, you want to pick which version of Microsoft Flight Simulator you're running. I'm using the store version, so I will just highlight, right click, and then I'm going to run as administrator. Once you have done that, a command prompt window will populate. Then it's going to ask to press any key to begin the cache removal, so we'll go ahead and do that. It does state if you see any errors throughout the process to just ignore them and let it go through the entire process. That's pretty much certain files that may not be able to be deleted at the time because they're being used by an application on your PC. So when you do this, it's very important that you are not running Microsoft Flight Simulator. And once that finishes, we can press any key to exit the program. All right, so now the question is, when should you clear out your system cache? Well, my answer to that is, anytime there is an update to Microsoft Flight Simulator, you wanna clear out all of the cache because there could be conflicting sceneries now. The other thing I suggest to do is just to monitor your performance while you're gaming. If you notice that things start to become a little bit more stuttery, you're getting more micro stutters here and there, then now may be a good time to clear out your cache files. All right, that's it for today, folks. If you have any comments or questions, put them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back with you. Show the developer some love over on flightsim.to. And if you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button to all of my flight simmer friends around the world. Keep the blue side up. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.